What's good everybody, it's Zach Hayes here from The Weekly Drop telling you the story of the warm-up shoe that changed sneaker culture, the Puma Suede. Don't let the classic design fool you, the suede has been disrupting and directing sneaker culture for decades. Considering the suede goes hand in hand with hip hop, it's crazy to think that the German OG could have been put on the US shelves as the Puma Crack. Yes, the heavyweight was lined up to have one of the most culture defining but controversial debut names in history, but just as the shape was slightly refined over time, so too was the name. Puma eventually kicked the crack to the curb and settled on the suede. As close to future trouble as this could have been, this everlasting silhouette has been witness and participant to many of modern history's biggest events. One such event being the proto Colin Kaepernick moment when US gold medalist and Puma athlete Tommy Smith and bronze medalist John Carlos raised their black glove fists for the human rights at the 1968 Mexico Olympics. The gesture was a silent protest during the American anthem. It became one of history's most defining images and the suedes were right there on the podium. In more recent times, Kaepernick and Tommy Smith have, not surprisingly, become allies. It was the following decade, the 70s, when the suede would become a part of the greater culture, with a more visible presence on athletes. Puma were the first brand to offer head-to-toe endorsements for their athletes, matching the T7 tracksuit to the suede. Head-to-toe would later become the industry norm. Not only that, but Puma were the first brand to sign an NBA player to a signature shoe deal. Long before the days of Air Jordan, future NBA Hall of Famer Walt Clyde Fraser rocked the suede, rebranded as the Clyde. Previously seen on court in the Puma basket, Fraser tasked Puma with matching his on-court look to his famed off-court lifestyle. The suede with its countless color combos was the perfect option. Clyde also introduced the game to the low-cut basketball shoe trend. 35 years before 2008's low-cut Kobe 4 was heralded as an on-court revolution. In the 80s, the suede leveled up from training shoe to cultural staple. When a street culture in its infancy took the aesthetic that was previously only reserved for the hard rocks. Hip-hop culture was on the rise and fresh to death was the dress code. From b-boys to the cutthroat courts of New York streetball, the suede became a staple. Never leaving the mainstream, the Puma suede stayed in the public's immediate field of view through an iconic legacy of collaborations, including Jeff Staple, Undefeated, Karl Lagerfeld, and more recently as the inspiration for Rihanna's coveted Fenty Creeper. In 2018, for the 50th anniversary, Puma is in the midst of dropping an incredible 50 collabs, bringing in names like MCM, Michael Lau, and the unstoppable BTS. The suede was there for anthem protests long before the current day. It was the low-cut sneaker on court decades before it became a trend, the first to introduce the world to signature sneakers. Sneaker culture simply wouldn't be what it is without the suede leading the way for 50 years, whether it be in sports or on the streets.